I always look for needle marks in the tattoo. Like when I zoom in, if I can see like proper needle marks in it. I feel like I started using something that people never used in tattoos before. Really, I started doing it, which was like the bokeh effect, which is like sharp foreground and then blurry background like in photo like in photography kind of stuff you know when like yeah they they show a leaf with drops on it and you see that perfectly sharp and then everything in the background super blurry and so like that really helps to make things pop out at your face you know what i mean and like stand out to you and so like in time those lines that I put in with liners and stuff and the real sharp stuff is going to hold up a lot sharper than all the stuff I put in the background with my magnum, which is like a, a looser needle, you know what I mean? And then so over time, when it starts breaking down, that back stuff is only going to get blurrier and the front stuff will stay sharp, you know? Yeah, the thing that jumps out to me is his chin. So you're like tattooing under to give that kind of... It's all that black need... under, bro, that makes it pop out, you know? Are some tattoo artists kind of stay away from that? They get they get nervous to put black in realism for sure. You just got to be really selective about it. How can you tell if you're getting somebody who knows what they're doing? Uh, I think it's important to look at their their artwork and stuff like that. But nowadays, like with Instagram and stuff, like people edit their photos and stuff like that. So that's always something you got to look out for. I always look for needle marks in the tattoo. Like when I zoom in, if I can see like proper needle marks in it because they haven't like smoothed it out or something like that. And I always look for skin texture or like pores because if I can see that, then I know it's, it's like mildly unedited. But if oh, there's shit. some, there's some artist that you look and that shit is fucking whew, smooth. And you're like, hold up, like, zoom in, like, I can't see one fucking dot from a needle. I can't see any skin texture in any of that where the tattoo is, because some of them will just fucking take the photo and superimpose it over the tattoo. And then you're seeing the photo going, holy shit, that's amazing, when it's not really the fucking tattoo. So you should be looking for like, oh, I can see pores in the skin. I can see needle marks in there. I can see like a little bit of blood or a part where it's not finished bleeding so much. You know what I mean? Like it just looks fucking real. Trend that you like, trend that you hate. Trend I like is now people are putting like cartoon characters with realism. I love that shit. I love that shit because I love cartoons. Trend I hate. Oh, there's so many though. You mean like a recent trend? However many you want to give. Micro tattoos, I'm not a big fan of. Tribal was a terrible phase and should have be forgotten out of existence. And tramp stamps. Male tramp stamps. That's not, that's not a thing, is it? Is it's a it? thing, bro. Some bikers is have them. Never understood why. Why would bikers, like, you're supposed to be a tough biker. Like, you can't get a tramp. <laughs> but that's how it always is, right? Like, the next generation does the exact opposite. Yeah. How do tattoo how do artists tattoo feel, artists about, feel trends? about trends? Depends on the trend, I guess. Like, right now, with all, the, like, with all the micro tattoos and stuff like that, people, I know, like, traditional tattoo artists fucking hate that shit. But when people, okay, when you see a trend emerging... Are you like, oh, God, here we go. Or is it kind of like, do you try to steer people away from it or just like, this is what they want. Here, I'm going to do it. The thing is, is like, there's always like a few artists that are doing it, right? And if I, if I do it, then I look like I'm just copying them. So I, I usually tend to stay away from them unless it's like requested and then, then I'll do it. But if it's on my own like selling point, I, I try to stay away from them. Are there colors that are harder than others? Pale, pale colors are definitely hard, harder to pack, uh, especially if you have like a larger area of that color. 
because it'll tend to go red and look pink and you don't know if it's in there or not so but i mean most parts colors are pretty much all the same hardest part of the body to tattoo easiest part of the body to tattoo easiest would be like lower leg or forearm just like a nice like flat spot hardest i hate necks neck is very like tricky to get in there and get everything i like the positioning but doing it is very like crampy on my body especially the back of the neck it's the worst is there any place that you're like i'm not tattooing there i've i've only ever had one one dude in new zealand ask me he wanted his gooch tattooed and i was <laughs> I, said, <laughs> even... I said no but like nah man come on man but some tattoos some tattoo artists will do that though i mean yeah for sure will a tattoo though like if somebody's body changes a lot will that ruin the detail Mm, sunlight ruins the detail a lot but i mean like people worry like oh i'm going to the gym bro i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna get big i'm like bro unless you five times your body mass it's not gonna change the fucking tattoo you know what i mean was there ever a point where like you felt like oh this thing changed the way that i do it like i had this moment and now like i said with that blurry with that blurry effect in the background and stuff like that and learning how to put perspective into a tattoo like that that definitely changed the game for i think the whole industry do you think there will be something like that advancements to be made yeah ah for sure man for sure now with like ai and stuff like that people are being able to create better references you know what i mean like before it was just kind of whatever the fuck's on google or deviant art or pinterest or whatever we can kind of like photoshop and manipulate but now i can type stuff into a, a ai engine and it'll create it for me you know what i mean and And that stuff's going to be awesome when it, like, we really understand it and know how to manipulate it the way we want it to and to be able to create anything you want, you know? Like, some of them, like, I could take a photo of your mom and instead of just being stuck with the photo that you have, I could be like, I want this lady running through a meadow. I want, you like, all kinds of shit, bro. And you can just recreate things that have never been... You know what I mean? It's 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 super yeah. cool. Yeah, I never thought of that like that. But yeah, you can you have such a it's an infinite amount of reference points. It's, exactly, man. And like some some artists are like, oh, I hate that shit. You can tell it's AI, blah blah. I'm like, yeah, but dude, this photo doesn't exist. I couldn't have found a photo of a gorilla fighting a lion, you know. But I just fucking made it on here, yeah. and it looks sick. Like, I I think that's. It's it's a game changer, man.